welcome to our mill shed. We actually built this thing about four or five years ago. and We built it out of all the dead ash trees in our backyard. So we actually just started milling them up on the mill and then just building the structure around it. And it works really good, especially these closet style doors, which run on a barn door, barn door track on the top and then they're hinged on the sides. So they open up nice and flat on the sides and that allows us to get some really long logs in here. We can do up to about 22, 23 feet on here. So it works really good. And we got this Woodland Mills HM130 Max bandsaw mill and that is great for milling up dimensional lumber. So our game plan for today is we're gonna mill up some lumber for our silo project, specifically the octagon roof we're gonna plan on. And we don't just want to build any standard roof. Um, we want to build it out of timber frames. So we're going to do a timber frame style and we're going to actually do some intricate joinery with those. We're going to try some T-non joints and some mortise joints. So that's the game plan. So what we're going to just start out with doing, we're going to throw a new blade on here. We're going to throw some logs up here. And we're going to just start milling. Transporting these blades can kind of be tricky. So actually I kind of learned how to fold them up. Holding them is actually kind of easy. So you hold it about right here, right here, and then you fling it down and then you fold it up. So as you're flinging it down, it's got the momentum, the front has the momentum to go down and then you pull back up and it kind of folds itself into it. So it's a great way to actually transport these plates because they are big, awkward to carry and very sharp. And unfolding them, I'm not the best at that actually. Um, I kind of let them explode on me. center of the log as your beam. In order to do that, because a log changes diameter from the front to the back, you have to jack up one end to get it so that hardwood is perfectly level with our saw. So I already measured it out. I determined this just has to go up about three quarters of an inch and that'll make our hardwood level with our saw cut. So we'll jack it up a little bit. Go over the water. Now we'll just clamp her in place.
chunk. Well, not so good. It was a bit of a rough start, slow start, because we were fixing the bearing on this, but we got about a quarter of the wood we need milled. And uh, yeah, basically plan is just to hit it hard tomorrow and see if we can get the rest of it milled up. So we're just gonna get this stacked in the barn and close her up for the day. That's a smooth roller. Did you put water in? Uh, we're about half, maybe two thirds. Alright. We'll fill it up, check it later. Alright, let's grab this one and start milling. Shut her down for the day. We did good. We got about 90% of it milled up. It's late now, pretty dark out, but uh, we got it all cleaned up. We'll uh, stack this up in the barn and then we'll start spacing them out, do a final tally on what else we need and mill up the rest another night. last night and uh we were trying to get as much done as we could we didn't get it quite all done we got about three quarters of the way so the game plan for today is to try to finish it all up basically all the wood we need for the roof and the vestibule framing so once we have that done we'll be able to get that in the kiln drying it out and uh that way it's ready to go as soon as we're done working on masonry so we're going to start out just by cutting this one down it's pretty hollow up pretty far so we're gonna cut it here, cut it into some wood here, just get rid of this end. Uh, these, it's kind of the gamble we take with this stuff. You, you get one out of the pile and next thing you know, it's halfway rotted, so.
that looks yeah. cool. Wow. Are... You're gonna have to burn them up in the kiln. on one of my last logs and I finally hit a nail. Three days of milling and that's the first one but it was the last three I had going and it looks like we might be ending early. But well, we did get a lot done today so we'll probably pick it up another night see if we can finish her up but that stinks. Shoot so close. All right we're gonna throw a dull blade on see if we can finish these up real quick. Get rid of this one that just hit a nail. All right, let's see how fast we can change this out. Like NASCAR. Okay, we're gonna see how fast we can change this blade out. It's getting dark. We're running out of daylight. Get so close. It's not riddled with a ton of them. I'm gonna flip it. another one this thing is riddled with nails i'm not i'm not milling it anymore it's it's not worth it that's too blazing it's coming out of your paycheck that sucks it it does for you <laughs> my zero dollars a month that's weird that's not what our our uh accounting saying That's how you roll them up. Sure is. Like my gloves, though. That is another blade bites the dust. Shoot. Good. Okay, we're just gonna get this one nail out of here. That way we can finish milling this log up. Hopefully there aren't any more. There she is. There. Should at least be far enough away from the blade now. We can at least cut, finish cutting our path. That thing is on there. It's a big nail. Yeah, those are real big nails.
Got it all done. That was three long days of milling some wood. We went through about 35, 40 logs in all. And man, we are sore, tired, it's laid out. But uh, we got her done and that's the important thing. I think we only hit like one nail in all the logs we nailed up. So not bad at all. And this was basically only for the roof and the vestibule too. So we'll have some more in the future for like the bar and other odds and ends in the silo. But all in all, I think we're just gonna work on drying this wood out next time. We'll show you how the kiln works and how we'll get it loaded up and make sure the stuff is dry and time to start working on the silo.